I don't usually make videos intentionally around negative opinions or experiences, but after the last 48 hours, I am at the point where it's near anger level, if I'm completely honest. So I'm just going to get straight into the video and discuss why I will never in my life use Overclockers UK again, and why this whole NVIDIA 3080 launch was botched and shady. Okay, so 1400 hours, boom, the launch goes up, 3080s go live. The Overclockers UK website took a dirt nap for a little bit, and you will have seen me Twitter posting in frustration that it took so long to get from the basket to the checkout, and it kept signing me out of Amazon Pay, which I assumed would be faster because it's one click login. So no username and password, which I guess was wrong. I finally managed to wrangle the website into the payment screen and it crashed five fucking times. Over a period of about 20 to 30 minutes, I had to resort to logging in manually with my phone and using PayPal of all things to pay so I could actually get to the end. You will also see that I tweeted that I finally got an order in, yay me, at 15.18. Yes, that's correct. It took me an hour and 18 minutes to complete my order, at which point I thought, hmm, they still had stock left? Really? So I did a big brain move and I called them. I was not risking finding out that later on it was actually a mistake and there were no cards left. Move forward 30 minutes in time on hold and I get through to a guy in post sales who tells me that this order system is dead and that there are no orders getting processed. It will be fixed ASAP and that my order should go through as normal. This is where I assumed it wasn't Overclockers UK allowing thousands of pre-orders. I was wrong. It turns out that actually thousands of pre-orders were placed just for MSI cards, just one brand, and you can still place orders now for pre-orders for almost every card, even though there's no guarantee of stock, ETA, delivery, you know, there's no queue system. You don't even know when you're going to get it. It's shady as fuck, and you want to know what else is shady? They were upping the price on some of the cards within an hour and a half of it going live. I purchased an MSI 3080 Ventus for 649, and within 10 minutes, so about half past three, they'd gone up to 709, a 60 pound increase. Moving forward to the 18th, the next day, I assumed that we would get some clarity. The MSI Ventus cards and the Trio X cards were due to be in stock, and my order was now waiting to be shipped. I was on hold for two hours and 40 minutes trying to get through to get some clarity, and it actually turned out I needed to go out, so I hung up after about that long. I assumed I would find out later about my order shipping, hopefully, and I was wrong again, because it turns out after waiting to nearly 4pm, I get an email saying this. I'll give you a minute to actually read this email if you're interested, but the bit that really makes me laugh is the fact that it says, your order is in a queue. And the fact that it says it was first come first served when it was actually the server playing spin the bottle and picking at random who was actually allowed to place orders. I was on two browsers and my phone since 2.10pm because of the instability, and it took me an extra hour and eight minutes after that for even that to work. The second part of this that annoys me is the fact that they knew approximately how many cards they had coming in. Not exactly the amount that they would be getting in, according to the product manager on the forum, but a rough idea. And yet they still allowed for hundreds, if not potentially thousands, of extra card purchases. And I don't mean pre-orders where you just put your name down. I mean full payments of up to around £900 per card. And just to reiterate the point so it really hits home, you can pay £900 for a card they don't even know when they'll be able to send you. And just so I get the point across for I think the third time now, you can still go and order a card from them on the website even though they don't have any, don't know when they will, don't know how long it will take to clear the orders that are in the queue at the minute, but don't worry, they are happy however to take the money and sit on it for a good few months. Other companies such as CCL, Scan, eBuyer, AWTIT, Box.co.uk also oversold, but they apologised and stopped sales to either refund people who wouldn't get one, or fulfill orders that they did take in the future. Overclockers, however, as I've seen for the fourth time now, still actively taking pre-orders and taking the full amount of money from people's cards, and they can't promise anything. If there are any vendors, card manufacturers, or third parties willing to sell me a card, and I mean actually sell me a card, not just the promise of one in time for Christmas like I'm being rewarded for being a good boy this year, reach out. I don't even want a freebie, I will pay for it like a normal person. Though I fully expect to have to scour vendors for the next few weeks just trying to find a card I can actually buy just so I don't have to wait for my order with overclockers as I would like to get my money back from them and give it to a vendor that isn't being scummy. And just so we're clear, I've used overclockers for about a decade and usually if I have an issue I can resolve it within a few days, but after this, not again. It's just been the completely wrong approach to the issue. I mean, the server having issues was one thing, but then increasing the price on some cards within two hours of the launch and then allowing unlimited pre-orders with no timescale, but taking the full amount of money for those cards they don't even have? Come on. 
all the while passing the book. Every single issue was someone else's fault or something else's problem, and they never really gave a proper apology, it was just lip service. I mean, their social media page on Twitter pretty much summed up the entire experience. Their guy was too busy making memes rather than apologising for the fact people couldn't even place orders. There's been no real apology or a gesture of goodwill to the people who have paid, let's face it, probably a few million pounds into this company. Instead, what we do get is we get to be told, actually, you can just sit in this queue indefinitely. If you want to remove your order, good luck to you. You won't find any 3080s anywhere else anyway. Or you can leave the money with us, we'll earn nice fat interest off of it, and when we feel like it, you can have a card. For those like myself who have pre-ordered fairly early on, I hope you get your money back or the cards come faster than what we've been told. I will be trying to find an alternative source and then cancelling my order with overclockers. Well that pretty much sums up this disaster of a launch, so I will see you for the next video.